So how kind of ruthlessly honest were you with the family and friends at that time? Very ruthlessly honest. Yeah. Um, I've always been a communicator. That's, that's the way I, I, I've run my life. And uh, I know everyone deals with cancer differently. Uh, some people don't tell people at all. I know, you know I even know husbands and wives that, that don't tell things about their cancer. But for me, one of the ways of dealing with it was actually telling people all about it. And I wanted people to know because I didn't know what was going to happen to me. And so I wanted to tell them what was going on in case something started to happen and, and so that they could recognise what was happening really so I've always been very open and still am with, with, with the things that are happening to me I don't really want anything hidden uh, so I, we, we were ruthlessly open uh, uh, you know I asked the hospital there was a little bit of a time in between my chemotherapy and my stem cell transplant where they, got, they were doing the tests on, on the donor and I said to the hospital right what am I going to do with my time because I can't work and you know I feel useless what am I going to do with my time and uh, my consultant said, Mr. Lewis, uh, please make sure your affairs are in order. So I think that the, the, those few words actually put the reality into my case. Mm. Uh, that could be seen as harsh, but on the other side, you were able to make preparations if things did advance, um, which you might not have done if he hadn't have said that.